saying things people already know out loud is tight. Avada Kedavra. You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey, if you don't stop, I will contact the usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI. We're gonna have a look at a couple of Bruce Jew videos today. We're gonna have a look at the old school Nintendo one, which is kind of, uh, I guess, relevant with this Mario trailer that, that's come out that everyone's gone nuts over. And then we're gonna have a look at the Toys R Us video as well, because I'm a big action figure collector. I've spent a, a time or two in Toys R Us having a look at the stock, seeing what's in. So this should be a fun video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. I check out Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I look at, I'm watching Ted Lasso at the moment. I just did Encanto. Yeah, believe, believe it or not. Disney movies, that's the new thing I'm looking at on this channel. So we're gonna start off with the Toys R Us video. Let's see what Bruce Jew's got to say about one of my uh, uh, bittersweet because it doesn't exist anymore, but let's see what he's got to say about Toys R Us. When I was 20 years old, I got a job at the Toys R Us, and I hated every goddamn minute I had to work there. Because nobody wanted me selling them toys, okay? It's just weird. I'm an adult. They're an adult. What the fuck do they know about toys? What the hell do I know about toys? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. These kids just really love these Don Cheadle dolls. They can't get enough of them. Why, you could probably lure a kid into an unmarked van, and he wouldn't even think twice about it. Your name could be Rapey McRaperson, and they wouldn't even give a shit. No. <clears throat> And, uh, plus they're on sale, too, so yeah. Customers would come up to me and ask me where certain toys were in the store. I didn't have a clue, so i just make something up. People in the States, you get a lot of Bob Barker action figures on the shelves? Let me know. <laughs> Excuse me, where are your footballs at? Uh, I think they're in aisle 12B. Where are your bathrooms at? Bathrooms? They're in 12B. Is your parking lot around here somewhere? That would be in aisle 12B, sir. Thank you. <laughs> hey, uh... You know, we don't have an aisle 12B, right? Yeah, fuck them. They'll figure it out. So they would mostly wow, keep me in the dude. back with the uh, other social outcasts. Keep me away from the customers. I would just be building power wheels and uh, kids' bikes all day long. If you want a shitty bike, you have me make it. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I can't shit. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. If a goddamn light bulb goes out in my house, I'm like, oh, shit. Looks like I'm getting a new lamp. This will take weeks to repair. I'd get done with a bike, and there'd be all these pieces left over in the box. Like, what the hell? Nah, I guess it'll be all right. But they would also use me whenever a ladder needed to be climbed to get something off a shelf. Some customer would find the heaviest thing we have in the store and make sure it was on top of fucking Mount McKinley. Hey, can you get that box down? A oh, what box? That one up there that looks like a little fucking dot in the goddamn stratosphere? Yeah, sure, I'll get my evil Knievel ass up there and get it down for you. So I go and get the ladder, and uh, by the time I get back, a small <laughs> crowd of people have gathered. Like I'm some kind of fucking circus show. <coughs> okay, for my next trick, I'm gonna climb this 30-foot ladder and try to get this 250-pound swing set <laughs> down without breaking my neck. So I start making my way up, and uh, the ladder's starting to feel like it's made out of fucking popsicle sticks. And I start wondering, man, I wonder how many people down there just want to see me beef it off this ladder. All which is a stupid thought, really, because everybody down there wanted to see me beef it off the ladder. My legs eggs are shaking uncontrollably. There's clearly poop already in the seat of my pants. Aw, oh, screw this shit! I'm not a goddamn daredevil, for Christ's sake! Um, you want me to get it? And eventually you do get the big-ass thing down, and you wheel it out in the parking lot for the customer. And he's got the smallest fucking car you've ever seen in your life. He's over there like, Oh, okay, let me just put the seat down real quick. I'm like, come on, dude, really? Are you serious? Your fucking car looks like a goddamn Monopoly token. Hell, it'd be easier to fit your goddamn car in the goddamn swing set box. But luckily, I didn't have to work there for too long. It was uh, just a seasonal position, so once Christmas came and went, I was done. They came up to me and was like, hey, Merry Christmas. You're fucking fired. Get out of here. And they're shooing me off with a goddamn broom, which <laughs> I didn't really care. I mean, shit, they were lucky to still be in business with my dumbass working there. Excuse me. Yeah, we uh, bought a bike from here, and my daughter crashed into a tree, and she exploded on impact. Who should we talk to about that? Uh, I have no idea, um, dude. I don't work here. Oh. If she exploded on impact, I don't know who you want to talk to, man. Maybe, uh, a scientist, perhaps? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Aisle 12B. Go to aisle 12B. Brewstew.com. 
Yeah, I don't know if that was the best Bruce Jew. I think it was quite old, judging by the sound of the voice on there. So we're going to have a look at the old school Nintendo one. Yeah, this is yeah, going to be a lot of fun, man. I had a uh, Sega Master System 2. Then we had a Super NES, which I actually still have. Super International Cricket. Now that's the game. Uh, and NBA Live. Then I had an N64. And then it kind of just became like a bit of Xbox. I was an adult with money. So then it became like whatever was going. So let's see what the old school Nintendo video is all about. I don't know what the hell that was. BruceDude.com So I found my Nintendo the other day. In the, uh, in the basement. It's looking pretty dirty, pretty rough. He's got Sounds drunk. Tattoos. It's smoking a cigarette down there like, hey, <laughs> hey, remember me, asshole? <laughs> yeah. What happened? What happened to us? And it still works. You believe that shit? It still works. It's 482 years old. I've been using it to prop up a fucking table in the basement for the past 12 years. <laughs> I look at my fucking Xbox the wrong way and it gets a red ring of death. Now, saying that, it's not perfect. I mean, the thing's only gonna work when it wants to. I mean, everybody's got their own little tricks, you know. Oh, blow in it. Cram another cartridge in there, see if that works. <coughs> Give it a back rub. Give it a reach around, maybe that'll work. And once you do get the damn thing to work, everybody's gotta calm the fuck down because that thing is volatile. <laughs> it's you make true. one wrong move. You fucking fart too loud, and that damn thing will turn into the goddamn Matrix, and it'll glitch, and you'll have to start over. <laughs> that's why if I got remotely far in a game, I'd lose my mind. All right, everybody, just calm the fuck down. Uncle Rick, sit your ass down before you fuck this game up. I'm on the second level of Contra, goddammit. I'll never get this fucking far. Oh, fuck! I hate you, Uncle oh, Rick. Oh, my God. You. Glad your brother died in Vietnam. Yo, easy there, buddy. Judge Judy, I want to play that game. Yeah, what a fucking fun time. <laughs> I wonder why I ripped the fucking game out of the console while it was still running and throw it against the wall. You had a whole generation of nine-year-olds having mental breakdowns because they can't fucking hold onto the spread gun in Contra for more than three seconds without fucking dying. On paper, they seem like the easiest fucking game in the world, you know. On paper, it's like, okay, that's your guy. Go right. Keep going right till the game tells you to stop <laughs> and you win. You got two fucking buttons. Go do it. Take any kid off the street right now and put him in front of one of those games. Watch them rip the goddamn hair out of their head. Yeah. Where's the checkpoints at? Well, you don't get any fucking checkpoints, okay? You gotta fucking play all night, you get your ass beat, you fucking skip school the next day, you play all fucking day, you have a mental breakdown, and then you finally fucking beat Mike Tyson and punch out. Don't look at me, that's how you do it. It's in the if instructions, I don't know what to say. So I think I'll just keep the Nintendo down there in the basement. Keep it for my kids. Just use it as punishment. You fucking play this game until your nose bleeds and you have a fucking seizure, okay? <laughs> After this, we'll see if you want to pull your sister's hair again. <laughs> yeah, man, the difference between video games back then and now is night and day. I go back and play the old uh, Super NES every now and then, and even like uh, Virtual Bart was one of my favorite games. I think that was, is that Super NES? Yeah, Super NES. Uh, Virtual Bart on the Super NES. Oh my god, that game is so goddamn difficult. I don't know what video games have become <laughs> these days. It's a whole different world, a whole different industry, but that was a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments what Bruce Jew videos you want me to have a look at. Don't forget to check out all the other stuff on my channel. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace.